I'd like to welcome you all to another Kali Tutors tutorial session. In this tutorial session, I'll demonstrate how to create a cover page for an assignment. Uh, we are going to use Microsoft Word, okay? Uh, this is mostly, or oh, in most institutions, uh, this is the preferred application, okay? So to open your Word application, just uh, type Word here. Uh, using this uh, search box okay and then after typing word your application or the version that has been uh, installed on your machine will appear here and then in in this case I'm using word 2016 uh, this comes from Microsoft Office 2016 okay so double click on this one to open the application okay uh, once your application has opened uh, you must click on this uh, blank document here okay after clicking on blank document this is what you're going to get so for most assignments what they want from you is to include your name student number module code assignment number and the date in which uh, the assignment will be submitted okay so in order for us to write that uh, information we must use something like a, a text box okay in this case we are going to use the shapes so click on shapes uh, choose the rectangle or the rounded rectangle okay I normally use this one okay after clicking on that one you will see the cursor has changed now into something like a crosshair okay then uh, click uh, where you want your rectangle to begin and uh, move the cursor across to decide on the size of the what of the rectangle okay so if you move it down okay you're enlarging the the height if you're moving to the side uh you're enlarging the what uh the width okay so if you move it across like this uh in a diagonal in uh path you are actually enlarging both the height and width okay so i think this is okay a, a good size for me so after after creating this uh, rectangle you you can be able to type your information inside here okay so for example like i said we need to include the name just click uh, inside this rectangle and then start typing so if i type name you see uh then okay the text appears inside the the box okay then click enter to create space for student number okay then uh, student number okay uh, then uh, after writing student number enter again and then write uh, module oh sorry module code okay uh, then the next one is uh, assignment number okay uh, after assignment number the last one it's a uh, date uh, uh, submitted okay date submitted uh, this is often sufficient information for a a cover page for a particular assignment some institutions even require you to write the name of the institutions but in most cases you don't really have to do that so once you have typed this if you are satisfied with this okay for example let's say let's include our details this is uh kali that's my name my surname is uh tutors okay and then my student number it's one two three four five six oh, uh, six seven eight okay uh, okay so maybe okay one two three four five six seven Eight module code it's a uh, uh, ENG fifteen zero three, and then this is assignment number one, and then it will be submitted. Uh, for example, on the fourth of fourth uh, of February, uh, twenty uh, twenty twenty four. Okay. So this is basically all the information that's required here. Uh, okay, you can change the font size if you're not happy with uh, font size 11, you can change that here. Okay, you'll first highlight all the text inside the box and then 
you can change by choosing a different size here okay I think in this case 16 16 will look cool okay let's let's decide between 16 and 14 okay I think 16 is fine so uh, you need to also center this okay to center your your text your your text box or your rectangle just drag it across like this like you're moving it uh, horizontal and then a green a green line will appear this green line actually indicates that you have centered your your box okay so you can also reduce the size to look at the entire page to see if it's uh, arranged in a if you've actually placed it in a in a suitable position in terms of your vertical alignment okay so in this case I think it is fine so this is basically all that uh, you must do when you're creating your your cover page okay thank you for watching